as long as you don't have cores on the land that I'm trying to uh, to core here. Nope. And that's exactly what we'll do. Can't believe I'm doing all sorts of things for the first time here. Enforcing peace on an AI for an AI that I actually want to help. Unbelievable. And yes, the, the advisor is very expensive. Let's have our nice cheap-ish one back. There we go. They, inf they rejected us. How dare they. Uh, but still, on the high seas, it's... Oh god, I would have thought it would be a lot better for us. Hmm. Well, at least I'm helping out in this fight, but... Uh, I worry slightly. Good four maneuver is uh, perfectly acceptable for, for a fight like this. But you have no leader. And you're fighting a heavy. So maybe it's better to have you over here. It's just one heavy though, the rest we can take. I wouldn't mind being able to swing around my units as well to get some... Uh... Well, no, what I'll do is I will leave behind two cogs. And we will get two sorry souls on for that island. Gabe is ours. We're on a crusade. It's all coming together. Some of these ships are on the wrong side of the non-existent Suez. Some, but I can't guarantee it's all. It's dangerous right now. Please go to port. Oh yeah, I was blocking some people there. Also, mm, those are galleys in this sea. I want out of this fight, I want out of this fight, there we go. Oh dear lord, what happened here? Where'd those heavies come from and why am I still in this fight? Oh boy, that was, that was rough stuff. Now I'm short on my boats again. Steel and Aragon really need to get those heavies into play. Who is bringing all these heavies, though? Yeah, Morocco, a fair chunk of their own. On the plus side, Castile are absolutely stoked that I enforced peace for them. Okay, hardly, but it's still 10. Gulf of Venice is going to be a problem. A sizable problem, especially since I don't have a uh, an admiral here. He came at me because he thought he had a good chance, and he does. And he probably also thought that he has uh, has backup coming in, which again he does. That said, we're mincing here. We do have good naval ideas, but they've just brought in so many, and they have an admiral. So let's not take any losses that we don't have to. Get you guys together. Uh, unfortunately, the maneuver isn't going to help us much here. Fortunately, though, off they've buggered. Okay. Okay, okay. Yet again, we're in a messy war. I wouldn't be surprised if the Ottomans are eyeing us up right now. Whew. And a bit more for you. Empton is raid me and raid me more. I still would really like to get that island though, so let's make sure we do what we do to get a couple over there. How many boats did I lose in that fight though? It's uh, more than a touch concerning. I'm relatively convinced that uh, Castile can come out on top of this one. I mean they have the force that they can bring along here and they've secured the strait. This is why I'm confident that things will go our way. Mm -hmm. Oh, I 
beast. How does he do it? Tell you, I, I am managing to pick the wrong sides in a lot of fights around here, and that's uh, that's not a good thing. Right, I want this cruel guy gone. But I still want administrators, right? Maybe I need the dip these days. Well connected and uh, still old. However, hopefully a better admiral. <laughs> Considerably worse admiral. So, I'll be honest, I want this island. I want this other island, but I need to go and occupy it. And we're not exactly taking the seas by f storm here. I'd still like to try my hand at getting over there for it. But I don't know who's floating around. It could well be my good friend, um, the Mamluk Sultan. But I'll do what I can. We'll stick close to our ally here. Oh, come on. <laughs> Not getting the leadership anymore. That's just the game telling me off for having such a nice run with leaders. Alright, so we made it here. The, uh, the Mamluks are out there somewhere. But Corsica should be mine. Get there on the 14th. Get here on the 10th. Ah, just go for Corsica then. It's the game telling you should have rimmed more tonight. Oh man, I can't get enough of the rimming. Okay, ah, of course, the Mamluks are involved in the war and they bring their everything. battles are not going our way and I have a feeling that the Ottomans are going to want to stomp on me very soon with my uh, Iberian friends not particularly willing to help take that durability I like my ships staying together in combat and before Jake's allies sell him off sell off his islands no less Sadly, Castile and all their subjects count towards this war, so uh, it's not a whole lot I'm doing in their favour. But I actually want them to win the war, so I'm going to even de uh, de siege these for them. Separate peace betray Castile. I'd love to, but I don't have war score whatsoever. Two minuscule occupations are not going to make it for me. Now, if I were to snipe their capital, that would be a different story, but it's a capital fort fort. So that's not going to happen. And even if I did want a separate piece... Oh, well, you know. If I were to snipe and get some decent war score, which I might be able to do around... Uh, it's risky to do it over there, but it's not impossible. But yeah, if I were to snipe and get 10 war score, it would probably be possible to get uh, get something out of this. I want this more than I want this. Maybe. Hard to tell. Very hard to tell. Well, I should do what I can to get some war score going. Tunisia's capital would be a prime target for me if I could just unload a bunch of cannons on it. However, I'm a bit, uh, a bit stuck on the possibilities there. Especially since uh, we just have Marlon, who's not the greatest we've ever seen. But let's do what we can do here. We'll try our hand at Tunis. The 
if somebody comes for us, at least we'll have the good uh, foresight to see them coming. Maybe. Huh, why are they not more over here? Do I have reason to be largely concerned right now? Probably. Mm. Let's try it. Hell, we worked for the Ottomans. Jake Jerba is a fort. It is indeed a fort. Okay, they're just going to collapse to those. That's no big deal. And yeah, I just suicided a galley for no good reason. This is how you suicide a galley. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Well, what I just did was accidentally uh, run away with my entire navy there. Well, at least we run away fast. <laughs> what a maneuver. We turn it all around and we come straight back. Now give us your boats. Not bad, not bad, not great, but not bad. Come on, Tiniz, fall. I don't care about, uh, I don't care about screwing over my ah crumbs. Look who's on his way. Oh, they're all on their way. <sighs> no, they really are all on their way. This game, it uh, has a thing or two to say about me today. All right, I'm begging you. Seven per, um, twenty-one percent is good odds. Just make it happen for me. Oh, either way, I'm gonna lose one guy here. No, no, yeah, yeah, I did lose a cog. Okay. Water shortage. Well, you tried, but you're going to get fried. Oh, geez, my army's gone. My army is long gone. And now, if anybody was having any thoughts about attacking me, uh, now would be the top top time to do so. Yeah, the assault would have never finished that in time. Jeez, the train, the train of pain to come and end me is uh, scary. And I'm not defending Venice again, which is a big mistake. Alright, well, I need an army again. Lack of a cannon. I think a single cannon would have changed all that. One, two, three, one, two, three. And we'll get rid of uh, some of you to bring us up to force limit. There we go. I could try my luck again because, yeah, if I get 10 war score, I might just be able to make my peace with you. <laughs> not, a, not a guarantee, though. But now that I've seen them all go over that way, perhaps I could make my attack over here. That's a possibility. Are you enjoying these curveballs? The game seems to be really pushing you today. Oh yeah, I mean, I love it when the game throws stuff at me that I do not see coming by a country mile. And I've been getting a lot of that in this campaign already. 
All right, you guys are ready to rock and roll. And again, I'm going to leave Venice undefended here, which I don't want to do. I mean, I really don't want to do, but at the very least, leave a wee galley there. Let's go pick up our friends. Trouble is my triumphant battles aren't counting for war score. All the while though. Oh yeah, I left you behind. Mm. My triumphant battles. I should keep better track of my uh, my boats. Jake, do you have enough transports? Not really. I only have uh, seven of them. And I need more for my 11,000 army, after all. But two of them are here, so only nine really need to move around. Well, at least these cores will be done before too long. But yeah, I don't even have the provinces to build the army and navy that I need right now. Even if I kind of have the sailors and almost have the manpower. But we're, we're gunning as hard as we can here. Poland, I still think we should be friends. Because I can't raid you. Might as well become your friend. Alright, there we go. Got the three here. And I should probably uh, build those flutes. Cogwall must be maintained. With four cannons, Cairo might fall in time. Cairo is a capital fort fort, so I'm not convinced four is the, the ideal number there. That said, a bunch of uh, occupations on these really low development, uh, high development, unfortified lands may still contribute here. Morocco making gains is slaughtering any hope for peace though, for me at least. Why don't we try it out, at the very least? Just to get a feel for how much development we're looking at. Uh, not development, but rather war score for taking this development. I'll commandeer the whole lot of you, actually. Just have a better shot at this. Because I don't see any... Uh... I don't see any mam looks around here, boss. Wait, who's gonna fight me? You think you can take me with that? There's no way you're gonna take me with that. I'm gonna destroy you, even if you do bring two heavies into the fray. But, while that is going on... Uh, they do, however, have a flagship. And it is uh, destroying my ships. Fortunately, though, we know how to win. His flagship must have survived, although barely. And he's going to Jaffa. Well, I reckon we're going to score ourselves a flagship today. Is Jake trying to get Granada on the map back, or what's happening here? So I've enforced peace on Morocco because they were fighting my ally Castile. They obviously didn't agree to that, but I was hoping I could get enough war score to demand this island. Unfortunately, Castile is disastrously losing this war. Probably because they invited the whole goddamn Muslim uh, brigade into Iberia. But we're trying to win what we can here. At the very least, you know, grab something to make a separate peace. Which is possible if I can get the 10 war score. I don't have the 10 war score, I have anything but that 10 war score. But I'm going to see what I can do here. Maybe grabbing a, a bit of um, high development land, even if it's not fortified land off of the Mamluks, could make a difference. Because 10 is all I need. Can you capture flagships or just destroy them? You can capture them. Well, I can capture them. And this is a good opportunity to do so. 
So taking these provinces has given me a staggering one uh, one war score. Good times. I'm gonna let you uh, get a bit of uh, a bit of morale back. Yaffa is down. Not morale. I, I mean uh, manpower from these occupado lands. Nice flagship. I think it should belong to me. There we go. <laughs> Mamlukian flagship sunk. Of all the ships in the Mamlukian Navy, none was more highly regarded than Aziz Gamal. Knowing this, we prepared for the ship, and today our preparations paid off. We sunk in battle. Good riddance to bad rubbish. I should focus on getting all the uh, development that I can here from occupations. All right, we have the cores. We're also going to have the full state and full cores that way. Oh, jeez. Go figure. He's not very happy with me doing this, and this is this is by no means going to get me what I need. I need war score if I'm going to get that, and war score means a fort. All right, abandon. Uh Abandon that idea. At least having nav uh, naval superiority gives me uh, a lot of boost to doing maneuvers like that. I wonder if I could have another shot at Tanis. Right, we weren't that far off of it. We'll grab our cannon and see what we can make happen. Although I'm not sure if Tinez itself will be uh, will be enough. Check full blockade, everyone, for war score. I we don't have the manpower for a full scale blockade. Seriously though, I would not get the war score I need from uh, just blockading around here. Seven, huh? We can try. But they might be cut down like lambs to the slaughter. Also, about this heavy ship I got, this Karak. It's not an early Karak, so it might be worth keeping around. Um, but it's also quite expensive, so away you go. It's a shame not to let my galleys heal up whilst we have the time, and we're in our... Uh... Oh yeah, also we see all these uh, units moving around. That's not a good time to gun down Tinez. Internal conflicts for Portugal? Fine by me. Although I don't have more land to take from them currently. We got Jaffa back. Trouble, is to, trouble with Tunis is it's between all this, uh, all this hustle and bustle activity. But it remains the best thing I could gun down. Nice to get a spree de corps though. Well, you know what, why don't we try blockading, see what we can get. Especially if we blockade the high value targets. And especially if the Mamluks are getting sunk like that. Time to get auto manned, Jake. Now the Ottomans appear busy with QQ and Jilan. Whilst uh, Akiyunu is going full historical. And don't mind me, I'll take that treason. It is indeed treason. That's over. Castile will cede Tangiers and Udja. Aragon will cede uh, and uh, Castile will pay money. Okay, well at least Castile didn't give me up, but them losing money could be quite bad. I will make a claim on you, but otherwise we'll go exploring Hobbs. It's a shame I really wanted those islands. 
Uh, I'll bring my army over because I'm quite likely to get some Portuguese separatists rising up. And since I now have these, I should strongly consider building some additional flutes. Because I have how many? Seven, eight, nine with these being done. I should get ten, eleven. And whilst all this is going on, if you could kindly drop off here, I would like... No more crusade for us, it was nice while it lasted. One, two, three of you to get an explorer, actually. And who's going to explore the... I would say the seven seas, but it might be the 27 seas out there. I think it's been a long time since we've seen Bitter Craven. Wow. You had it in everywhere where, except where it mattered. Uh, please go exploring for me. I need to know what's out there. The other ten lights I have. Please privateer. And the rest of you do the important job of ferrying our units over. Not optimistic about the new world, considering it took 20 years for colonialism to spawn, says Stargirl410. And I agree with you there. It's also not promising to see that Castile is uh, preferring to colonize the Green Coast than anything else. Castile's also beaten me to more islands that I would be interested in. Also, 20 papal influence is nice, but I would use that to buy stability. Whereas I could just get stability. The Ottomans are on their way. This is a problem. This is a sizable problem. Uh, thankfully, Austria will no doubt defend me, but there's only so much land that I can keep surrendering. England will join in, which might help take care of any Ottoman, uh, Ottoman boats that join in as well. And our guy here sucks, so let's replace him. The question is what I need to focus on right now. And the answer is my, actually my mill is falling behind, but I'll probably prefer getting exploration so I can get some settlers. And that naval force limit's going to be good for me. And we get uh, colonial regions, so yeah, let's keep it with the 141. Smugglers, sure, and I'm not happy with the smugglers in power, but the buccaneers are still holding true. Our ruler is nice and young, as long as his trait is not awful, we should be good. Also, why would the the Castilians be lining up on Portuguese lands? Hopefully just for the, um, for the rebels. We'll pick up the rest of you over here, because I don't think you're all that necessary back here. And I worry a bit about the lack of galleys to defend you. And really, it's the best place for my galleys to be, actually. Jake knows the only way to halt the autos is to crush it, take Constantinople, vassalize them to keep the rest of the world in line. Um, Byzantine cores ain't gonna last that much longer. But yes, the Ottomans are going to have to pay for what they've done to me. It's just hard to build up much strength when you can't... Ooh, that is definitely worth it. Even though I'm quite certain I have uh, gained what stability to lose 10 Republican tradition in the past. Now with this guy, I'm fairly certain I'm... Oh, come on! Dip's meant to be his thing. Can't we watch the explorer, Jake? We can. Look at Bitter Craven go. Poles, you want to be my friend yet? No. Does anybody want to be my friend? Austria kind of does, but kind of doesn't. Trade power in Alexandria is kind of cool. Cheaper trade efficiency guy, also cool. Cheaper trade efficiency guy means more um, more money and dip for us, but also less money. 
taking you anyway. 